Today, America honors a civil rights icon. People in the Twin Cities will gather for several events on this Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Governor Tim Walz will attend the state's annual celebration at the Ordway Center in St. Paul this morning. Many use this day to give back. It's a real day of volunteering across the metro, but celebrations get started this morning. Annual MLK breakfast in Minneapolis. This has grown to be quite an event. It's really on the national radar. Our Christian Cordero live at the Armory this morning, and there is a big time guest speaker there, Christian. Yep, uh, former Attorney General Eric Holder will be the speaker, the keynote speaker at today's event. Uh, 2,500 people are expected to come to the Armory, and with me to join to, to join us uh, is Nicola Dixon, and you are the executive director of Je the General Mills Foundation, which has this immediate mm -hmm. partnership. Biggest event of the year for you guys, but the first for you as executive director, Nicola. Yeah, we are thrilled. It's as you mentioned, 30 years now that mm -hmm. uh, the General Mills Foundation, and together with the company and our partners at UNCF, have hosted this community event, and we could be, not be more thrilled that we've. We've got, you know, 2,500 people joining us today from all over the community to celebrate. I know this is your first year as executive director, mm -hmm. um, but you have been part of this event in one shape or form for the past eight. How have you seen Absolutely. it evolve in the past eight years even? Absolutely. So certainly every year we continue to grow in terms of participation in the room. But what's really exciting this year is we've added this free live streaming option online. So now anyone, anywhere, schools, families can live stream at uh, MLKBreakfast.com. Com. And we did that to just to make the event and the speakers' messages uh, as broadly accessible to audiences as possible. We're also thrilled we'll have U.S. Attorney Eric Holder here today and to deliver his message about how Dr. King's dream really inspired and guided his own journey. I, th I know that uh, it usually is a very high profile speaker. I know last mm. year it was Don Lemon. Um, mm -hmm. And just speaking into just the national impact, I think some people might mm. be surprised to know that Minneapolis hosts this kind of mm -hmm. event with this caliber. Tell me a little bit about that, of the sense of community here and what resonates with this audience in particular. Yeah, certainly. So, um, you know, first of all, back in 1991, it was uh, when UNCF and General Mills sort of had this idea to convene around Dr. King's legacy and not just commemorate it, but try to bring the community together to really inspire and activate and it's really about trying to kind of innovate and bring people together year over year in different ways to really celebrate how those issues and all that was advocated for are just as relevant today. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much, Nicola. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. Uh, there is a call to action, too, if you guys, you know, if you wanted to do the live stream, if you wanted to volunteer at U.S. Bank Stadium, I know that that's happening right after this event wraps up uh, at 930. And then there's also a text to give. Uh, it's text UNCF17 to 41444, and that's uh, the, the way to text to give, Jason. All right. Christian Cordero over at the Armory will be covering... Uh, the breakfast today and the other events. Thank you. Remind the nation is marking the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. Events are planned all across the state to honor the civil rights leader. Governor Tim Walz is attending the state's annual celebration at the Ordway Center in St. Paul. Events are also planned outside the metro in places like St. Cloud and Fergus Falls. Celebrations begin this morning with the annual MLK breakfast. That is in Minneapolis, and Christian Cordero is there live at the Armory this morning. Christian, tell us all about it. Oh, Allie, well, first of all, it's a beautiful venue. This is their second year here at the Armory. And joining me is Laverne McCartney Knighton. And Laverne, you're with UNCF. Yeah. Um, you've been doing this event for the better part of the past 30 years. I know you missed one, but we can kind of look past that. Yeah. I know it gets bigger. It mm -hmm. seems like it gets bigger every year with 2,500 people this year. Does it keep getting better, too? It keeps getting better. I mean, I think our keynote speakers have always delivered fully. And yeah. even with this year's keynote speaker, uh, Eric H. Holder Jr. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward and anticipating his message being one that is going to uh, really resonate uh, with what's going on to, in today's world. So, we, and he'll start his message in about an hour or so. Yeah. Um, but what kind of what, tell me a little bit about the sense in this room um, that you feel when when whatever whoever the keynote speaker is, you know, what, what capture that for me as far as the empowerment goes. I think when I think about all that we. Uh, uh, done with this event over the years. Every year we come with expectancy and we're inspired to uh, lead and take action. We're inspired to serve, we're inspired to lead uh, and honor Dr. King's legacy in so many ways by uh, just being better human beings and better citizens in the global sense. Tell me a little bit about UNCF because United Negro College Fund is the gives the most scholarships of any nonprofit uh, minority focused nonprofit right, in the right, country. Right, right. 
Well, we are the oldest and largest uh, minority education organization. We provide scholarship to students around the country. We provide, you know, over, uh, right here in Minnesota, over 100 scholarships annually, and we give away about $1. million in scholarship for students right here in Minnesota going to college. Uh, everywhere uh, in every college that they can uh, fathom in their minds. We, we provide scholarship for those students going to historically black colleges and universities as well as uh, predominantly white institutions. So we really uh, work hard to make sure our students are getting the funds that they need to remove the barriers that, uh, that will prevent them from being able to go to college. Some of those students will be here today as well? Well, some of them will be here in video. They're all back at school. Uh, so they'll be telling their story through a video that we were able to capture, which was wonderful while they were home over the holiday break. Now we do have some past recipients who will be here because they're going to school locally. So, uh, but the ones who receive scholarships for this year are on video. Excellent. Thank you so much, Laverne. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Yeah, um, yeah and there's a, a way to give back to, as she mentioned, this is a part of a scholarship effort to help raise money. So if you text UNCF to UNCF17 to 41444, uh, then that's uh, the way to donate. Guys, back to you. Okay, Christiane, thank you.